So moments ago, President Trump was wrapping up a dinner with some military leaders and their spouses at the White House and briefly addressed reporters and hinted at some sort of oncoming storm. During a photo op in the White House dining room, President Trump made this puzzling comment. You guys know what this represents? What all of Maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? It could be the calm. It's the calm before the storm. What storm, Mr. President? You'll find out. And now the president was asked again what he meant by calm before the storm, and he responded, you'll find out. Uh, but he says, uh, we'll see. He'll let us know. President Trump's firing overnight of acting Attorney General Sally Yates, an Obama holdover. I had to fire General Flynn because he lied to the vice president and the FBI. No, I fired him because of what he said to Mike Pence. Very simple. We do come on the air at this hour because there is breaking news coming out of the White House. President Trump has informed FBI Director James Comey that he has been terminated and removed from office. Deputy National Security Advisor Katie McFarland is reportedly leaving her position at the National Security Council. And White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer has resigned. The new Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders read a statement from President Trump. I'm grateful for Sean's work on behalf of my administration and the American people. They get burned out. I mean, typically, uh, these are roles that people enjoy for a year or more. But the fact that this uh, tenure was only uh, about six months long shows you just how chaotic and fractious the Trump administration has been. It ranks among the shortest tenures in White House history. After a mere 10 days on the job, Anthony Scaramucci is out as White House communications director. Yet another bombshell shakes the foundation of the Trump administration. Mr. Trump's controversial chief strategist forced out after a short and stormy tenure at the White House. Breaking news right now, Tom Price has 